Sure. Yeah, I know it was a it was an exciting weekend of hockey. It was probably too exciting sometimes for the coaches, but uh, but it was good. It was hard fought, and we knew it wasn't going to be easy. And it certainly wasn't. So uh, you know, uh, again, the tie. You know, it's tough to, to know what to say. To be honest with you, I mean, you don't feel great, but you don't feel brutal. It's uh, you know, it's a tie. But uh, it was a hard fought game. I think. Uh, you know, both teams played well, and uh, I'm happy for the, uh, you know, for our crew to make the playoffs. Most importantly, and to get a chance to play another weekend. A couple penalties late. Uh, you guys were able to work off the leader mark penalty right after the go-ahead goal. Uh, not so much on the next one that caused you know UH to, to tie it up. Uh, was there just a lack of maybe discipline at the end there to kind of let UH get back in the game? Uh, leader mark holding the stick. Uh, I, you know, I think, you know, I don't know, that's hard to say. And the other one, I, I can't comment on that at all at the end, I think, you know, what are you going to do on that last one? Um, I mean, let's be honest, that was, uh, I, I better not say anything, so. Are you happy with um, the way your team's playing at this point yeah. of the year? Yeah, no, we are. We've, we've come a long way, and, you know, uh, since the start of the year, you know, 211 and 2 before Christmas, and now we're, whatever it is now, 965. You know, so we, we've uh, come a long way and we've fought through a lot of injuries and a lot of uh, close games like this. And, uh, so uh, we just want to keep playing. You know, we love coaching this group. It's such a great group of young men, and, and uh, they've stuck together. You know, the seniors have been fabulous and they've really fought through a lot, and, and, and uh, quite a few injuries in that senior class, in fact, which can be frustrating. And, and uh, you know, they've had three winning seasons in a row, and there was a lot of weight on their shoulders with a young team. And, and they fought through it. We're, we're proud of them. I mean, this is, it's what it's about is to improve and develop and, and get better and better. And, and that's what they're doing, and, and we're real proud of them. Tim, after last night's win, why was winning today important? Just because we, we, you know, it's a, it's a rival game, of course. You know, you want to win the series uh, against UNH. We get an opportunity if it turns out we split it, but um, so that's important. And plus, as a young team, we, you know, the more you win, the more confidence you get. And after the first half of the season, you know, obviously gaining confidence and believing in ourselves is important, and, and that's why we want to leave it all out there tonight. And you know, we obviously put Marty in the net and, and played uh, a couple guys that were, you know, fighting through some injuries, and we played them. You know, and because this was an important, important weekend for us, and uh, you know, and out of respect for the game too, and, and just how far we've come, we wanted to leave it all out there. So I have no regrets whatsoever, and the guys enjoyed the competition. It was, uh, it was hard fought. Talk about how important Marty has been um, for the turnaround in general. It seemed like as soon as Marty got in there, it seemed like he guys turned around. Yeah, Marty's been great. Again, they're very similar to the team. He's just he's just kept getting better. You know, and he's. He just keeps improving. It's not an accident. He works extremely hard each week, and I'm just real proud of him. And he's, he's come a long way. The guy was a true freshman. And, you know, it's a tough adjustment, uh, and but he's made the adjustment now. He's uh, he's he's been very impressive, and uh, he's just going to keep getting better. He's, he's a great competitor. Tim, you see, this is a point gained or a point lost. Uh, I guess a point gained. You know, we're on the road at UNH. You know, obviously, a very tough place to play. A very good opponent. And uh, so, you know, we are down 3-2 to two going into the third, and uh, I thought we played real good hockey that period. And so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take every point we can get, uh, you know, and, and yeah, it's, uh, this team just hasn't quit. We're down 2 nothing early in the game, and then again 3-2. to 3-1. to 3-1, and, and, three three one, one. and yeah, we just keep fighting. The guys keep fighting, so, uh, uh, you know, and to do it against a real good team, obviously, it's, it's good. So, uh, we're just going to keep, keep pushing. And, and uh, keep playing hard for each other. Tim, as you, as you look at this team compared to other teams that you've had in the past, is, is it more gratifying in some ways because of the obstacles that you've had to, to face to reach here versus yeah. some success? Yeah, we've had, a, you know, that's, that's, yeah, I would say it is, you know, uh, obviously, uh, you know, when things uh, don't come easy, you know, there's a lot of lessons you can learn and a lot of life lessons and not to get, you know, too corny about it, but it's true. We've learned a lot of lessons this year and we continue to, you know, it doesn't seem, we seem to make it, uh, you know, it's always challenging, you know, in this league and, and just, yeah, I, I think it's been especially, uh, it's 
been especially enjoyable for our, our staff. We we love working with these guys, and, and they've just stuck together through difficult times, and they and now they're playing the best hockey of the year. So I think there's a lot to be learned there, a lot of you know lessons uh, throughout, and uh, so yeah, it's it's been a it's been a great experience. You know, and we're, we just want to keep playing. You know, because we think at this point we we think we can play with anybody, and we know we can play with anybody. And again, we we just want we just want that opportunity. And, and we'll see where we end up going. We don't know yet, but we'll be ready. Glenn, did you have a question? Yeah. Um, I know not to comment specifically about the fall or anything, but Joey's, I mean, he's always been an agitator. He's always been the guy that kind of gets under the team's skin. But at the end of a game, when, you, when you're protecting a one-goal lead, and he's a senior, to, yeah. to get kind of a – I mean, he didn't have to do either of those things that he did. You, yeah, it's unfortunate. Just, Obviously, we want Joe on the ice, and you know he's he's a hard-nosed player, and uh, you know uh, we got to live with, with some of his penalties. I didn't like that. You know, uh, I don't. Uh, I did not like uh, the fact that, that he and Benedetto were, were were chirping at each other. So uh, he needs to keep his mouth shut. You know, and uh, and so uh, you know Joe needs to keep his mouth shut there, and and uh, so yeah, that's unfortunate. Obviously, we'd rather have Joe on the ice. We had a lot better chance to win over time with him than without him. So, uh, again, that's, uh, you know, but, uh, but Joe's a fierce competitor, you know, and he, uh, uh, he bleeds uh, black, bear, blue, you know, and, and so uh, he's going to fight, keep fighting. I mean, he inspired us again tonight. Yeah, it was a tremendous goal. Uh, he scored to, I think that was a tying goal, wasn't it? In the third. Yeah, was, yeah that was, I mean, you know, he, he just seems to score huge goals in, in big moments, you know, and he always has. And, and so, uh, yeah, they, you know, and he's, he's worked hard to control uh, control those emotions, and he will continue. And you know, but uh, you know, he's not he's not perfect, and, but he's um, he'll be ready to come play out of time. And, and uh, we love him. Final question, Coach. Uh, I know you don't know the, who you're going to be facing in the quarterfinals till later tonight, but what's going to be the focus in your locker room this coming week to prepare for whoever you're going to play? Yeah, it's going to be just as it's been, you know, in the last, uh, you know, couple months. Is we just want to keep getting better. You know, we want to keep improving, learning lessons, and and just uh, keep playing hard for each other. And and again, regardless of where we play, we've done pretty well on the road. So, uh, uh, you know, whoever we end up playing, we'll obviously know their tendencies and, and, and so on. But you know, bottom line is we got to focus on us, and, and that's why we've been successful. You guys have the pressure. Just play hockey, man. So we always want to get in the playoffs, and we're in. So.